Are you wondering how to address the coronavirus as you are marketing your real estate business? If so, this is the video to check out. I'm gonna share some of the things that will hopefully help you put things in perspective and create an opportunity out of this situation. Check this out. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. Thanks for being here. If you were brand new to our channel, what we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you market your business, generate more leads, convert those leads into appointments and close more business. So if you want more tips, more strategies, uh, just like you're gonna see throughout uh, the rest of our videos, please consider subscribing. Love to have you here as part of our channel, part of our community. Um, the time that I'm recording this video, it is March 12th, uh, 2020. And uh, it is a crazy time, um, unprecedented with the coronavirus. So um, I'm having a lot of clients ask me questions, Kevin, should I just put things on hold? Should I wait? How do I approach this with marketing my business? So um, really all I wanna hope, all I really hope to accomplish today is to, uh, to kind of put things in perspective and, and help you see a path forward, which is really what I'm after. So with that being said, we really don't have anything to compare to, right? So it is a scary time. Um, and first of all, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to any of you that are affected or have been affected. Um, hope that uh, everyone stays safe and, and stays healthy. Now, aside from that, the question really is, okay, do I just wait? I've had clients that have said, Kevin, does it just make sense to put the marketing on hold and, and wait till this is resolved? Um, because people are just unsure about wanting to move forward. So after taking a little time and thinking about it and, and kind of pondering a response to that, my response would be this. My recommendation would be to absolutely continue to move forward and to not really do a whole lot different. Here's why I say that. So number one, when you look at the closest thing that I really can compare this to that I've experienced is the real estate downturn that happened, you know, 2008, 2009, that time period. There were a lot of agents who couldn't survive and they got out of the business because they just couldn't generate enough business. And while there were a lot of agents who got out during that time, I also know some agents who grew their business during that time. And one of the things that's true across the board for all of those people, um, all those agents who were continuing to do business and to continuing to grow was that they had marketing in place that allowed them to do that. See, the people that didn't have a consistent marketing plan, that didn't have opportunities coming in, they were the ones who couldn't afford to survive. So let this be a warning. If you don't have a database, you need to have one. If you're not consistently marketing to your database and to your business, you really need to, you really need to start. Um, that is one of your competitive advantages, and it's one of those things that will give you a safety net your database and your marketing, it's your safety net in this business. So the thing is, is that you can either be afraid right now or you can either move forward and be hopeful. So what I find and what I personally believe is that people will follow your lead. That if you're advising them to wait and you're hesitant and you're not wanting to do anything, your prospects, your clients will probably follow your lead. If you're saying, hey, we can move forward, um, there's gonna be opportunities that come because of this, there's gonna be situations that we can take advantage of, um, you know, things that will work in your favor, you'll find people that again will move forward with that. Because the simple truth just that's true right now, just like back in 2008, 2009, is that life dictates that people have to move, right? whether it's divorce or bankruptcy or job loss or um, health, uh, death, there's all kinds of things that are happening in people's lives that force them to make a change in real estate. So even though there's a lot of people where they're, <laughs> you know, they're quarantining themselves and, and schools are likely gonna start canceling and uh, all kinds of events have canceled, even in spite of all these things going on, people are still going to need to make changes in real estate, right? Will this impact our economy? Of course it will, right? Will there be people who won't be able to afford to live? Uh, I think so, right? But again, in our industry, that's an opportunity where we can help someone, 
right? So again, I think what's going to happen is people are going to follow your lead. That if you're moving forward and saying, hey, here's how we adjust to this and here's how we adapt, then you can make that still work. So I am still seeing clients generating leads right now. Um, I've been really watching it close over the last 24, 36 hours since a lot of the craziness has, uh, has really escalated here in the United States. Um, just to watch and see what's happening. People are still inquiring about real estate. There are still opportunities out there. And so I fully believe that the people who continue to press forward, they're going to build up their pipeline during this time, right? Use this time to fill your pipeline when other agents are going to be afraid and pull back, right? This is an opportunity if you see it as such, that you can move forward in a dramatic way when other people are scaling back. Um, so again, the other thing that I would advise is technology is your friend, right? It used to be that the only way you could generate business in this, in this industry was face to face door knocking or picking up the phone and making a call. Um, technology is such now that that's not required. So if you haven't been using technology, like generating leads and advertising on social media and through the internet, you might want to look into that, right? This is a prime opportunity to put things in place in your business that you're missing that will help you move forward. Again, it's just a safety net to help you fill your pipeline. You can also use technology to help you with your clients. So if you've got clients wanting to go see a home, um, I know agents that I've worked with where they've worked with a, uh, a buyer who's out of state and they'll walk through the property, you know, with their phone and, and kind of do like a video tour. The, the cool thing is that technology is available for you to do those kinds of things. So if you've got clients who are hesitant to go out and look at homes because they're concerned about, uh, you know, contracting the, uh, the virus, totally fine. Use technology to fix that problem. Um, you might also want to consider that, uh, you know, having um, hand sanitizer. You could also, you know, get little hand sanitizer things and brand them with your branding on it. There's all kinds of things that you can do to take advantage of this opportunity and still make this a turning point for your business. So my response to the question of Kevin, should I just take time off and should I just wait to market my business? My answer to the question is a resounding no. Again, there is a lot of fear and a lot of uneasiness, mostly because we just don't know. And I don't have all the answers either. But the one thing that I do know is that regardless of what happens, people still need to buy and sell. And in a lot of cases, especially if, if things get worse, then they're going to need your help more than they do today. So again, I fully believe that this is the time to take advantage, to put the, you know, keep the, the foot on the gas, keep plowing forward and move forward with, with, convic with conviction and with faith. And again, I fully believe that people will follow your lead, that if you follow in, the, if you lead that way, people will follow. If you're hesitant and telling people to wait, then they're going to do that. So be that trusted advisor. Help them make the best decision for them. And again, this is a prime opportunity to fill up your pipeline and to do it in a way that adds a safety net for your business. That is what I would recommend for anybody because your marketing, your lead generation, your pipeline is your safety net in this business. And so I would always advise anybody to fill that up as much as possible at any given time. And right now is no different. In fact, right now it's even more critical. So that is my two cents. I fully believe that this is a great uh, opportunity if you see it that way, right? That there's going to be more opportunities for your business. So again, hope that you and yours are safe, are well, are protected. And, uh, if we can help you develop that safety net, we'd be happy to do that. So again, down in the description below, I'll put some information about how you can reach out, schedule an appointment, and uh, talk about how we can help you grow your business. But that would be my response to marketing your real estate business in terms of the coronavirus and just being that uh, leader in your community. So with that, um, I'm going to put up a couple of uh, videos right here. Go ahead and check those out. Uh, different strategies, different tips for you to generate more leads and grow your business. Uh, other than that, um, that pretty much sums it up. So make it a great week. Keep crushing it. Keep moving forward. Stay safe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.